Hey everyone here from Tunnel Vision TV and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you guys how you can create your own 360 degrees video. So um, I created this video last week so you can actually pan around within your uh, YouTube viewer which is pretty cool. Uh, so yeah let me show you guys how to create one of these. So first of all we're going to use 3ds Max for our render and I just want to quickly show you, I've set up a really simple scene here, just uh, a floor and a few walls, some teapots, and then we've got a camera here in the middle. And if I scrub through this, you'll see it's a very basic camera move, just moving forward. And then we've got one light in our scene right in the middle. So if I just change this to my camera view, and if I play through this, you'll see it's a very basic setup that we've got here. So I'm using V-Ray for this. So first of all, I'm going to go to my render setup and then under the common tab all the way down to assign renderer and make sure this is set to V-Ray. And um, yeah, so very basic stuff. And if we just render this frame quickly, you'll see it's just going to be a normal, uh, normal render. So that's not really what we want. So uh, the camera that I'm using is a free camera. So if you create your camera, just go to your camera tab um, understand it and then just create a free camera and um, then all the settings for that camera you can leave default and where the magic happens is if you go to your rendering tab under render setup and if you go to the v-ray tab and then you go all the way down to camera if you just expand your camera settings and then you'll see it will say type here and if you change this to spherical and then you click override uh, that's your field of view and you change this number to 360 degrees that will give you the, the 360 degree view that you require for this so let's do a quick render and see how that looks like okay there we go so you can actually see the whole scene you can see all the walls and the floor everything all the objects so that's basically all you need to do so now I'm going to go to my common tab, make sure this is on my active time segments. We've got 100 frames, so I'm going to render from 0 to 100 or actually 101 frames. And then I'm going to set my output size to HDTV, so it's full HD, uh, 1920 by 1080. And then we're going to go to our render output. I'm going to click save file and I'm just going to browse to my render output folder. And I'm just going to call this render and then I'm going to change this to PNG. So I'm going to render an image sequence that we can use in After Effects to put together. And um, then we're going to click on Setup. Make sure you've got an alpha channel if you need an alpha channel. And then we're going to go to Save. And then we're going to click Render. So that's basically going to render through all the frames quickly. It's going to take a few minutes. So I'll see you in After Effects after this. Okay, so here we are in Premiere Pro. I know I said before that we're going to be using After Effects. But I actually realized that you cannot export a mp4 file from uh, After Effects. So that's why we're going to be using Premiere to do that. So I'm going to go and import my render sequence. So I'm going to click on the first one and make sure that you tick image sequence and then you click on import. Okay and then I'm going to drag that onto my timeline to create a new sequence. And let's just zoom in here a little bit. And if we play through this you'll see that we've got our basic render like that. So obviously you can go ahead and you can maybe change the exposure if you want to and things like that. But I'm going to leave it exactly as it is. So I'm going to put an in point there and I'm going to put an out point right there. And then we're going to go to file, export, media. And then we want to render to a MP4 file, which is very important. So I'm going to change the format to H.264. And I'm going to leave that at high bitrate. And then we're going to set my output name. So I'm going to save it to the correct folder. Uh, let's just put it there and I'm going to call it uh, 360 render. Okay, .mp4, click on save and then we're going to click on export. Okay, there we go. So I'm just going to wait until this is done. And once that's done, we can close Premiere down and we don't have to save that. So if we go to the folder where we save the file, we'll see we've got our 360render.mp4 file and that's what we have. So before we can go any further, there's something that you need to download, a uh, Python script, so that we can convert this into a 360 video. So you need to go to uh, this website. I'll put this link in the description. And then you can click on download zip here at the bottom. And that's just going to download the Python script that you need. So once you have that, we're going to go into the finder and just extract that folder. 
And if you go into the 360 videos metadata folder, you'll see there's a 360 videos metadata.py. That's the script that you want. And what you need to do is you need to copy that script into your home folder. So right click on that file and go to copy. And then right here at the top, go to go and then click on home and then just paste that script there. I've already pasted it there. So I'm just going to go to replace and you'll see there is my file. And let me just delete these two MP4 files that I have in here. Um, okay, so once you've done that, you also want to copy your uh, 360 render into your home folder as well. So I'm going to copy my 360 render.mp4 and just paste it into my home folder as well. So basically you need your video file and your py script or your Python script in that same folder. Okay, once you're done with that, we're going to open terminal to actually run the script. So I'm just going to click on the magnifying glass here at the top and I'm going to type in terminal. Now you've got two commands that you need to run and I'll put both these commands into the description as well. So you can just copy and paste them. So I've got them in a text file here. And the first one is just to set the file permissions of that PY script. And I'm going to paste that in there. So it's chmod a plus x and then the name of that PY script and you press enter. And that's just going to set the permissions to that file. Now the second um, part of the script that we're going to run. Let me just paste it in here quickly. So that's going to be dot forward slash and then the py script minus i and in this example this is the name of your video. So mine is called 360 oops let me just take that out quickly. So mine's called 360 uh, render dot mp4 and then you need to specify a new name for the output file name of the new render. So I'm just going to call this new 360 render.mp4 and then you can press enter and that will just quickly run through and you'll see that it's done all sorts of things here and then it would have created a new mp4 file in that home folder. And then if I play this you'll see it will look exactly the same but it's got the metadata in that file that uh, YouTube will actually use. So once you have your new render, you can upload this file to uh, YouTube. And then if you watch your video using the Chrome browser, you will have access to the 360 degrees controls uh, so that you can actually look around in your video. So that's basically, it's not really difficult to do. And um, I think we're going to see a lot more uh, 360 degree videos coming out very soon. Cool, that's basically that. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up if you did. And uh, also remember to click on that subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this. Cool, thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Yo, Cheers, bye.